assessment of difficult ground each ground investigation must be tailored to the local potential problems overview of possible hazards recognizes the geological conditions which determine the scale of each for any one site many potential hazards can be eliminated in the desk study phase while others demand specific investigation techniques ground subsidence beyond the acceptable limits of structural stalemate on soils this can only occur on certain rock types limestone with solution cavities provides the most difficult ground can also occur on clay peat loess chalk salt gypsum basalt major potential hazards over any mined ground soft ground mostly provided by alluvial clays lake sediments organic soils young clays artificial made ground laboratory testing to find bearing capacity cavity search natural and artificial cavities in rock are notoriously unpredictable in their localities local building codes may require probes for 5 meter at each column base with central vertical hole and a holes separate out at 30 degree on each corner rock head relief rock head relief may influence foundations and tunneling buried valleys are most likely in areas of glaciation and meltwater erosion larger features may be traced by seismic survey solution features and the pinnacles dissect limestone rock head may need many bore holes or soil stripping tunneling up to rock head is major hazard rely on bore holes from surface and probing in advance of heading later would have averted lots berg tunnel disaster rockhead profile under motorway site investigation for motorways round brimingham pre construction bore holes were spaced 30 to 150 meter along proposed road line 5 to 40 meter deep to sample soils and a proof rockhead found deep buried valley offset 300 meter from modern river course filled with silts sands and a soft clays sinkholes notable hazard in soil or drift cover on carnous or fissured limestone may need grade or probes to rock hair cash wash borings to prevent flushing and a sinkhole inducement spt values can sometimes give an indication of incipient collapse of soil into an enlarging void beneath n is equal to 5 to 10 for normal soils n is equal to 0 to 2 for soils in tension and about to fail slope failure potential threat of landslides depends on ground slope rock type and inclination of rock structures limit angle for stable slopes may be around 10 degrees in clays 30 to 40 degrees in well fractured rocks and up to vertical in strong massive rocks local data including water conditions allows hazard zoning 
based on these factors. Trenches are useful to assess shallow slide geometry and are the most reliable method of recognizing solifluxion shears. They were not used prior to the Carsington Dam failure. Monitor potentially active slides through a wet season. Here I will tell you what is solifluxion. Solifluxion means the gradual movement of wet soil or other material down a slope, especially where frozen subsoil acts as a barrier to the percolation of water. Earthquakes. Destruction can be minimized by appropriate design. Active fault zones recognized by displacement of recent sediments. Mapping permits some authorities to limit new buildings within 15 meter of known faults. 35 meter for larger structures with extra 15 meter set back on faults not accurately traced. Geological mapping constructs four zones of ground with respect to vibration amplification in sediments. Recent mars most unstable. Thick drift cover, thin drift cover, bedrock outcrop, relatively stable. Liquefaction hazard mapping records well graded, low density soils with high water table, the least stable. Full earthquake hazard mapping also includes landslides, potential, tsunami threat and dangers from dam failures. Cavities under Remochamps viaduct. So what does viaduct mean? Viaduct means viaduct is a bridge consisting of a series of arches supported by piers used to carry a road or railroad over a valley is known as the viaduct. Motorway viaduct in Belgium built on folded limestone, shell and sandstone. Desk study showed carnaceous limestone. Microgravity survey gave an indefinite results four to eight cord boreholes on each of 13 pier sites found strong sandstone, soft weathered shell and irregular rock head or solid limestone. Footings on shell redesigned for low loading. Excavation found calves beneath two of the five footings on limestone had been missed by all the boreholes. Great pattern of new props on all limestone footing sites. 300 holes found no more cows. First borehole program inadequate, second excessively cautious. Cows were filled with concrete, one pier wall relocated by 15 meters to avoid largest cow. Ground conditions increased contract cost by 15 percent, including delay cost when calves were found. Redevelopment site in coal field. Site for housing within old Debisai coal field. Staged ground investigation revealed difficult ground. Desk study. Coal outcrop, old brick pit, shallow old mines, approximate locations of five shafts. Site visit. Recent fill on whole site. One sinkhole probably over old shaft. 
boreholes. Four light percussion holes showed 4 to 12 meters soft fill over weathered shell. Two trial holes found edge of fill. Methane test gave low values. Magnetic survey. Five dipole anomalies, three of them within five meters of recorded shafts. Probing. Needed on one meter grade on all shaft locations and a magnetic anomalies until the shafts are positively located. Deep cover of fill made cost prohibitive for the value of the site, so project terminally temporarily abandoned. Uh, on the left side, this is the geological map which has been drawn after the site investigation. And uh, then the yellow color locations uh, tells us about the shaft in mine recovers previously. And the triangle tells us the magnetic anomaly. And what is magnetic anomaly? A magnetic anomaly is a variation in strength of Earth's magnetic field caused by magnetism in rocks. And the blue color tells us about the boreholes and the depth of the fill. And on the right side, we have a cross section, which is not on the basis of the strong evidences, but According to the site investigation, uh, we have uh, drawn it, and we uh, that's why we have called con conjectural section. Mind ground. Best guide to potential hazard is historical data obtained on death site. Coal majors are the most extensively mined rocks, granites and the limestones have the most mineral veins. The 30 meter guard line mines less than 30 meters deep are most likely to collapse and they endanger the surface mines. Greater than 30 meters deep are generally, but not always, stable. Backfill in open cast mines is usually prone to high compaction highly variable and a best law tested in situ. Redevelopment of second hand ground nearly always finds unforeseen ground conditions. Areas of mining and a field provide worst case. Hazard zoning or old coal mines. Coal outcrop positions, deep directions and a deep amounts are enough to identify zones on geological map where shallow mining could occur. Buried shaft search. Must check every suspected site before construction. Shaft register of coal authority or local council generally gives location only within about 10 meters. Check for any disturbance of ground or drainage. If soil cover less than 2 meter, trench or strip with back hole. If cover is thicker, geophysics may be useful. Magnetic survey is generally best and cheapest. Last resort is expensive probing to rock hair. Start at best guess location then spiral out on a grid. Probes passing must be 0.5 meter less than the suspected shaft diameter. So 1 to 1.5 meter for small old shafts and 2 to 4 meter for larger, more recent shafts. Many researches have needed more than 50 probes. Thank you so much.